was born and raised in the inner city of Chicago. One day, a faithful bus worker came to our home and invited my brothers and I to church. My mom and dad agreed, and we began every Sunday to ride the bus to the biggest church I had ever seen. As a young 10-year-old child, this was an amazing experience for me and became the highlight of my week. I was saved and baptized at the age of 11, and I began going to the Christian school. God began doing a work in my heart, but with my rebellion and wanting to do my own thing, veered me off into the world. I wanted to be cool and popular, and a Christian young lady was definitely not that. I left the Christian school, gave up my modest dressing, and began to hang out with the cool kids. I began smoking weed and dressing provocative, and basically doing whatever I wanted, whatever felt good. I kept everything I did secret from my parents, and of course I got good at it. My rebellion and wrong living got me into all sorts of trouble. At 13, being a virgin, I was raped. I blamed myself, so I kept it secret from my parents. There were other instances of terrible things that happened, but this being the most pivotal one sparked a hatred within myself, at myself, for being so stupid that I would throw away my purity. Then my first boyfriend committed suicide. I began cutting and drinking. The weed smoking got a little worse and I also picked up smoking cigarettes. I had a deep aching sorrow in the pit of my belly and my heart began to harden concerning the things of God. At 14, I became pregnant and aborted that baby, and the immense guilt and shame that came with committing this grievous act really put me in a state of I don't care about anything anymore. My grades failed, I dropped out of high school twice my freshman year, and then the cherry on top, I became pregnant again. This time I carried and cherished this little one to term and got married. So here I was, married with a baby boy at the tender age of 16, except there was nothing tender about me. To some, this was the worst thing that could have happened to a brilliant young girl that had her whole life ahead of her. Now looking back at my life, this was one of the best things that could have ever happened to me. The birth of my son slowed me down. My actions had catapulted me into adulthood while I was yet a young girl. My then husband joined the Navy and we moved across country. I was now away from all my family, living in a state that was totally foreign to me. I felt so alone and depressed. Over a seven year period, my alcohol and drug use increased. My marriage fell apart, and after I divorced, I moved back home. By this time, I was a single mom of two beautiful kids. My life was in shambles, and I was a full-blown alcoholic. I began working at a local video store to help support myself, my children, and my drinking habit. Then one day while at work, I met Paul. We had a ferocious, codependent relationship, and our drug use reached an all-time high the more time we spent together. After a few years together, we had Abigail. While I was pregnant with Abigail, I did not act as a responsible mother, and I continued to pollute myself. By God's amazing grace, she was born okay. Then one night, after an all-night drug-induced binge, Paul and I got into a huge knockdown drag-out fight. The police were called, and they threatened to take our children away. This was my rock bottom. I went to stay with my brother Willie for a couple days, and he took me back to my childhood church. I was afraid to go back. I had vowed never to return there but I knew I needed to. Battered, bruised, and spiritually broken, I went back, and it was as if a tiny spark began to grow inside of me. 
a refreshment to my soul of everything I had been lacking and searching for in the world. When I came back to Milwaukee, I started Reformers Unanimous and started attending church on a regular basis. Hello everyone, my name is Marilyn Sanfo and that was my testimony. I'm so grateful for everything the Lord has done in my life. I've seen so many prayers answered. I've seen so many blessings rain down on my life and my husband's life and my children's life. I'm just, the only regret that I have is that I didn't return to Christ sooner. And if I would have any advice to give to young people is to get your salvation settled. If you're not sure if you're saved, don't be too prideful to go to one of your bus workers or one of the godly people in your life to ask them or even grab a track and, and settle that for yourself because there's nothing more important than having a relationship with Jesus Christ. You know, I spent 20 years away from Christ and there was so much unnecessary hurt that I caused myself because I failed to listen to the Holy Spirit's leading in my life. And I am just, I'm so beyond thankful for all those people that invested in my life and prayed for me prayed for my husband, prayed for my children. I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for everyone that prayed for me. And I just thank you for allowing me to share my testimony with you all. Thank you.